Hello and welcome to, to our webcast. Please kindly note that this webcast will be recorded. The participant names will be visible to other participants. Please switch microphone and video off to avoid disturbances and to protect your privacy. And our goal is to answer all questions. Complex answers will be given, will be given afterwards. So after these uh, initial notes, let me let me welcome you. Hello and welcome to our webcast, Best of Version Dog. Why did we choose Best of Version Dog as title for our, for our talk? Because we want to talk about the past, the present, and the future of our Bayesian version of today. Um, my name is Stefan Jesse. I joined Ovesi as managing director in March this year. I've spoken to many customers since then, and I realized one thing very quickly. Version Dog brings real added value to our customers. And I quickly got to know another characteristic of Ovesi. We are a thoroughly customer-driven organization. Customers are our top priority. We are continuously integrating further devices and engineering platforms in order to be able to offer our customers even more value. Some customers ask me, why does it pay to invest in new updates and support when my old version dog is so robust? And yes, this is true, but reason number one, because from version doc release 7.0 to version doc 8.0, we added support for 20 new devices in addition to many, many other features, extensions, and improvements. With release 8.0 in July of this year, we have released a new GUI, a fresh new look and feel, along with many other features, improvements, and extensions. I love the new look and feel of version. Stefan, sorry. Um, yeah. I think we can't see your your presentation. Oh, okay. I I see the start, um, first um, side from your presentation. Oh yeah, <laughs> that that's why I'm still on the that's because I'm still on the first slide. I'm I'm still on the first on the first slide, so this this is correct. Okay. So with. Um, with the release of 8.0 in July, we have released this new GUI. I, I love the new look and feel of version dog. And uh, we've changed the look and feel, although 88% of our customers already confirmed that using version dog is intuitive. But we're not only customer driven, we also have great product managers, developers, and engineers with great ideas and the necessary skill set to put them into practice. A few weeks ago, as you are aware, we released version doc 8.1. In order to face up to today's challenges, particularly in the area of security, we've made structural changes to version doc. Our top priority in the future, as in the past, will always be stability and security. Version doc offers the highest possible security only if you are using the latest version. And if Torsten Lang tells you in a few minutes what we are planning to do in the future, then you will be totally convinced why it is worth investing in update and support. I guarantee that. Now you should see the slide about us. Um, who are we today? Today, we are the world's leading vendor independent data and change management software solution for automated production. Founded in 2007, today we have over 90 employees. We have uh, locations in Germany, in the United States, and very soon in, in China in the next weeks. We have more than 5 million devices managed in more than 45 countries in which our products are installed, and in total, a rough number of 1,500 total installations as of September 2020. Impressive, impressive figures. Version Dog is a solution for robust control and change management in automated productions, designed to work with all types of data and systems. The core idea of the industrial Internet of Things is to use sensors and automation to make processes more efficient. After all, you're looking at increasing the complexity, complexity of a system and therefore answering the question shown in this slide 
is mission critical and gives you the following benefits. To ask who, when, where and why helps you detect unauthorized changes to running control programs, ensures full traceability and fast disaster recovery, easily generates change history reports and quickly replaces corrupted or erroneous programs when needed. With VersionDoc, you will avoid downtimes, support maintenance processes, and increase compliance and security levels. VersionDoc reads and secures data from all devices in the production chain. It collects, stores, and compares version configurations of automation devices and sensors independent of manufacturer and sector. More than 90% of our customers say that version of significantly improves their maintenance processes. And in addition to that, 95% of our customers would recommend version of. Also very impressive numbers. VersionDoc offers a detailed project comparison for all common automation systems and data, as well as consistent strategy for data security and disaster recovery. More than 100 popular automation devices are supported by default and an unlimited number of connected devices through flexible universal connection types. Use one single software and one single strategy for all your automation equipment use the market standard. But what are the benefits for our customers? There are many, and just to name a few of the benefits, you can reduce production downtime and outages by immediately providing the latest valid version. You can reduce cost, manual work, and increase the overall equipment efficiency. You can increase compliance by detecting unauthorized changes, create audit trails. And then we have predictive maintenance. But what about predictive maintenance? Sensors today can measure whether a device is squeaking or if it heats up. But what does that actually mean? Find out by looking if something changed in the configuration. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be nice to know if someone changed something and why and when? Maybe that way you detect patterns that tell you that there is actually no harm in the machine squeaking just higher output. That would be nice, right? As I said before, we are a truly customer-centric company. Our roadmap is visible to everyone on the internet. Customers can express feature requests directly using a form on our homepage today, and we continuously ask customers in surveys about potentials for improvement of version The next step would actually be to set up a program in which customers can interact and even co-create with Orbezi directly. And guess what? Here it is. The name of the program is Orbezi Insight, and this is brand new. The aim of our program is to understand your requirements perfectly to talk to you about the requirements, to understand them, to present solutions that best fit your requirements. To observe VersionDoc in its natural habitat, your shop floor. To ideate together about the future of VersionDoc. Discuss about different point of views, about directions that our engineers are heading. Test drive prototypes and test before official release. Our VC Insight is the motto of our VC Insight. It's let's build version doc together, or let's build even a better version doc together. And our VC Insight will be available to an exclusive group of customers that have the ability to test new features, product versions with your processes, your data in your landscape before official release. The opportunity to provide direct feedback on functionality, usability, quality of new features, one-on-one -on -one tech sessions, with experts from Ovesi and exclusive workshops and brainstorming. If you're interested, please contact our head of development services, Tobias Dauch. He's the responsible contact person for Ovesi Insight. And if you're interested to join, feel free and be, and I would be happy if you send him an email. 
And now I'm very happy to hand over the floor to Thorsten Lang, our head of development. Hello, everyone. My name um, is Thorsten Lang, and I'm head of software development department um, here at AVC. Today, I would like to take the opportunity to give you a brief insight into the background and planning um, of our software development and our software development process. As you have, we are fully aware of what is important to us, and um, essentially, it always boils down to the following issues. Um, first, data upload and backup, compare, and um, version creation, also with comments. Here at Ovesi, we have a very big advantage. We are independent of all manufacturers. Um, this has enabled us to support a very large number of different devices and editors um, from a wide range of different manufacturers. We are also aware that there are many other requirements and that new devices and editors are regularly coming um, to the market and that customers are implementing them and therefore uh, require support for these inversion docs. Within our um, product management and research process, um, we always try to identify the most important requirements for our customers to implement a solution in version doc as well. Um, as you can see, um, there are also requirements that do not only come from our customers. Possible requirements come from all stakeholders, also from our support or from actual or current technical trends. Um, it's always our goal that our customers get the um, greatest possible benefit from version doc through new functions. Sometimes this process take a little bit longer because we often have to contact our manufacturer partners first. In general, um, partnerships with a wide range or with a large number of different manufacturer make our approach on um, long term uh, easier. For example, um, our partnership with Siemens for the products such as Siemens Tier Portal, Openness or Sinomeric. In regular meetings with our partners and together with our customers, um, we lift this partnership and respond very exactly to all requirements. We see more and more often that there are other very important challenges for our customers and for us um, concerning uploads and um, comparison and creating versions, these being resilience, high availability and security. Um, I would like to assure you that these points will also be of great importance for all of our future planning. As, uh, especially as a result of this new focus, we have changed some parts of version doc structure in the latest version to create um, a new basis for the future. I know these measures have not yet been completed, um, but um, we are constantly working on improvements. And it's not a secret that we are actually working in the next versions of version doc. Now I would like to show you a few example topics um, that we are actually focusing on. Um, first, easy to integrate. Um, we want to enable our customers to set up components and jobs in version doc even faster and easier, like um, I say a zero touch idea. Or our new parallel server concept as a solution for the topics um, reliability, resilience and high availability. Now, the topic network scanner and device management um, for security and reporting, um, also in the area of asset management and easy identification of components, which we could then adopt in version doc afterwards. Or all further architectural improvements, um, like optimization of data management for a better performance and reporting.
But no matter what we are doing, we are always transparent in our work and publish all um, our plans and ideas um, for you on our website. Um, we show you the new version, the planned date and the possible contents as well as the respective status. I know um, that sometimes release dates can be delayed and that content can also change. But one of the reasons for this is that we are developing software in a very exciting and dynamic environment and have to react on changes on short notice. But we do, however, regularly publish possible deadline changes or um, the outline changes of the outline of a release or additional interim versions via our roadmap. I am often asked the question why we are publishing an interim version, which I can answer easily. Interim versions show another strength of our VC. We are under no obligation to adhere to any pre-planned release date. If it makes sense, we can offer you important functions, changes and improvements um, to increase the benefit of version doc for you directly. For customers, it's usually not a problem if the latest version doc version is not always used directly. We only ensure that the highest possible, we only ensure you the highest possible um, stability and security and offer you the latest functions and features with the latest version doc version. And for that, we offer our customers a corresponding update and support option. Um, this means that customers can always use the latest version of version doc and also decide when this version is installed. Finally, I would like to refer you to our roadmap and on our website um, again to and to the following presentations of OVESI. If you want to learn more about new solutions and functions, um, new solutions and functions. If you are unsure on anything or have further questions, please feel free to contact us. Um, thank you very much for your attention and I will now you hand over to my colleague Thomas Hörauf uh, again. Yeah, Torsten, thank you very much for handing over. And hopefully you can see now the desktop, my presentation. Yeah, my name is Thomas Hörauf. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm since the beginning of RBC on board and uh, yeah. Looking back, I'm I'm proud of RVC, what we reached so far. Yeah, we have won a lot of awards, as you see it here, as well as we are spending a lot of development and resources for IIoT and Industry 4.0 and get also placed there on place 75 on the top 500 um, of the industrial companies who spend resources on IoT. So this is all good done so far. But uh, yeah, let me look also now into the future. That is the part of my presentation. We have done so far a good job. We are close to 100 people. That means we are three times larger than the next competitor. And as far as I know, only happy version doc customers. So it makes uh, it, it's fun to, to work with all of you who are using version doc. And um, I want to talk a little bit about the future where we are planning to go to and what will we add in a long term view. So not just the next version. Let's talk a little bit about the future. Where is the company obviously going to now? And there we had uh, several customer meetings. You know, we have uh, every year a user meeting where you give us as customer and user feedback, how to develop version doc functions you are missing, what you expect, where we should go to. And we collected all this input from you as user. And um, yeah, with, that was at least the result for our roadmap where we want to go to the future. And this future is called Automation Solution Center. And what it is, I will explain now. Yeah? There we created a plan. We call it Automation Solution Center, and it contains um, several modules. So there are some basic modules. There is one module called Solution Cockpit. We have there on board a dashboard, a report generator, and of course, a license manager to license all new functions and products we are uh, developing and working on. Um, for the version doc part itself, so version doc as product, we always get the feedback, ah, we should do more in report, not just in functions for backup and compare of devices. Um, that was the main critic point or critical point you, you addressed that the reports should be 
better, more flexible, and uh, yeah, maybe web-based in a nice way. This is exactly what you can see here. The dashboard and the report are web-based solutions to create reports for version doc, of course, also for other things, which you will see now later. So it's a central reporting web-based, which will be as easy as um, it's version doc to configure. Yeah? So you don't need to be a web developer for that. You just can click things together and create your own report and use it in the web. And to do that, we have here the yeah, the module which is called Solution Cockpit. That is the central control center. From there, you can configure everything and, and manage everything and um, yeah, uh, click together what you are looking for. So there is also device and asset management, including you can merge your processes there and um, summarize the information you are looking for. And that can then be presented um, in the dashboard and report. So there you have a graphical presentation of your data. You have the possibility then to filter and to analyze with tools. Um, as you know, it a little bit from our current uh, web client, where you also have uh, bar charts, pie diagrams, and so on to see um, the result of the backups. And here the dashboard and report module will be for all upcoming products, not just version doc, but especially, of course, also for version doc. It will be an open world, so the reports can be saved and stored, and you can also export to open formats like PDF, XML, CSV file, and all this stuff which is known there. Um, so it should be an open world so that you also can get all this data out of the tool. Good, so these we call basic tools. Yeah? Solution Cockpit, there you configure everything. Dashboard, report generator to, yeah, to create your web-based reports. And uh, of course, a license manager to license all these modules in a single place centrally, not for each module as dedicated license stuff. Good, then we have options which you can use on top on the automation solution center. So the basics is always given because you need them, but the modules here, you can then decide if you want to use them or not. And there are several modules available. One is the factory floor plan. This is easy spoken uh, solution to see uh, graphically where is a backup failed or where you have uh, different uh, devices you want to know about the asset state. We have the image service, which you already uh, should know because it's already available uh, from the past two version doc versions. So we currently integrated it into version doc, but it will also be as our easy image service as standalone solution available because many customers do request an image solution beside the classical version doc solution. So you will have it available integrated and you can create an image like you do a PC or a PLC backup, and uh, you will also have it as standalone solution. What is new and Torsten already addressed it a little bit is also our, our network scanning solution where we, um, yeah, where we spend a lot of functions in direction of IoT industry 4.0 yeah, related to cybersecurity as well as for commissioning. Uh, if you uh, want to know which uh, device is new on my network and so on, therefore we will have the network scanner. And last but not least, of course, our classical InTouch, yeah, uh, in touch, our classical version doc, which will run here as module on the automation solution center, of course, as well. So factory floor plan, just some details about that. There you can use a graphical overview of your, of your production, of your plant. You will see in your facility, for example, if a PLC shows differences where it's available, or if you look to the factory floor status and you see, oh, there is a firmware which is not up to date, uh, or you will search for MLFB number of an S7, stuff like that, or you want to see if there is a cycle time or memory usage exceeds, uh, or is, 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 uh, a PLC has problems with the cycle time then you see exactly where it's positioned and where you have to go to. Yeah? So that is the factory floor plan to have a fast view graphically on, uh, on your devices and as well on points of interest. Image service already known yeah, and you can download on our website the version doc client to test and there you can also test the image service yeah? and it has several advantages in opposite to a Cronis or a Ghost because the installation on the 
on the PC where you want to create an image, it's quite thin. Yeah, there's at least no, Im no, no image service creation, uh, no image installation needed. And um, you don't need a reboot and no admin rights, so that makes it quite flexible. So at least you can manage the image creation from the version doc server, and you don't need to go physically to the computer which is running in the in the production. And we have developed it with two large customers, one large automotive supplier uh, and one large uh, automotive uh, producer, both located in Stuttgart area. And they had the problem, they had in one production area over 6,000 computers, industrial computers. And with this solution now, they have no need to go locally anymore. They can schedule the images from the version of server and it runs also during production, no need to wait for Christmas. You can do the image um, during running computers. Okay, so if you have not tried it out, please download the client on our website, try it with a computer, and I'm sure you will be happy. Totally new and nobody has seen it yet is our network scanner. Uh, so there we have two parts. We have an active scanning possibility as well as we have a passive scan. So during an active scan, um, we have a look on all devices which are on the network and um, who participate on the network. And if there is coming a new network uh, participant, for example, like in Symmetic S7 PLC, we will identify that. Yeah? So as long as we have a smart compare for it, uh, which you can see on workdoc.info website, as long as we know that such a device, we have a smart compare, we can identify it. So if it's a robot, a PLC, a SCADA system, we will identify it and we will directly create the, the component in version doc, as well as we directly um, uh, create the backup job for it. And then it's like a self-commissioning tool for you in version doc. So it helps you a lot for that. But it also um, is good for inventory. Yeah? So if you want to know how many members you have on network, or as a new one, you scan actively and you can see what it is. Here on the left, and so on. The version of application and the pass hardware because there we analyze the protocol which is running on the network and this is quite good for cyber security because we know the PLC talks to the SCADA or to the MES system we know the robot is also connected to that so we know the protocols on the traffic they produce on the on the network um, as soon as there is something new like a cyber attack there are typically peeds there are typical uh, overload on the network on in case of uh, traffic of data and so on and that will be identified by the passive network scanner and we will give you alarm so this is one important puzzle of <coughs> or should be one important puzzle of your cyber security strategy that you use the passive scan to control who is on network How's about the traffic? Yeah, so the PLC talks to the skater and so on. We know their protocols. We know when they talk to each other and how. And as soon as there's something unusual, we can give you an alarm and let you know, oh, there's something going on. This is a nice scenario between the honeypot scenario, which we have also described on our website. Um, with the honeypot, we explain a little bit how to back up network switches and how to control that there's also no cyber attack. Uh, feel free to look on our website and search for honeypot scenario. Here's a snapshot so that you see it's not just PowerPointing I'm talking about. There are also already real existing solutions which we currently uh, test in our test lab and which we already tested on, on better customers to see how nice it's running and how it's working that we can already identify with such a scan devices. Yeah, here you see we identified uh, Siemens Kellen switch. We had also two backups uh, created for uh, just the PCs, an S7 PLC, a KUKA robot. And if it's not known the device, yeah, we let you know, okay, there are unknown devices. And um, typically we also list then the IP address here where you see, okay, there's an IP address of the device, but we don't know what it is. And then you can also ping and search for it. And with that solution, you have also control on all 
participants on the industrial network as well as you have control on the traffic on it and so on. Good, that was now the different modules and for sure we have further ideas. Thanks to your feedback you always give us on the user conferences. Um, then uh, next thing is here, the next layer you see here in the bottom. It's all about connectivity yeah? because if you follow the strategy for Industry 4.0, if you follow the strategy for IIoT, you for sure network everything and then increases the danger of yeah, cyber attacks because everything is available. So you need to do cyber security, what I already explained with the scanner and with the backup possibilities of the switches. Now there's an advantage as well because if everything is networked, you get all your data you're looking for. And this is what we do now with the following modules. We have here a connection to the ERP systems. Yeah, here SAP is an example. They can be certified, uncertified, it's up to you what you're looking for. Um, so we can certify also connect to, to ERP, getting change requests, getting uh, new machine data, which should be then be available as component in version, including the backup and so on. We also have a module for uh, CID drawings like ePlan, especially for ePlan, we have a really nice partnership running currently, because you do not just have the ePlan compare, you, so not only going over PDF as today, you will have the possibility to read directly the ePlan format, um, as well as version doc or as the uh, uh, as, uh, automation solution center, I have to say, can read the CID drawing and can have look with real backups outside if the CA drawing is up to date or not. So if there is a PLC in the CA3 drawing, we can identify that in the drawing. We create a backup job, look for the IP address and see if it's available there or not. So Automation Solution Center will also let you know if your plan is up to date or if it's outdated. Yeah? So we can do a real time check of uh, ePlan drawings. Then we have also version doc connect and our easy connect and what that is, I will, I have some slices for that as well. I missed to show that. Uh, so again, SAP connect, you, you can connect to different modules yeah, uh, from uh, SAP and exchange data, reading, writing, whatever you're looking for. And it can be, uh, 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 it, it can be um, done by external consultant company, which where we have already done some partnerships. So that it can also be certified or uncertified. It depends what you are looking for. Then the ePlan Connect again. Yeah, we have there the possibility to export there the data and especially to browse uh, with the ePlan browser function. We have a few. Yeah, you can then compare plans. Uh, when you as soon as you have checked out into version doc, you can compare there the plans as well, like a smart compare and see if there are differences that they are available. Good. And then let me talk also about uh, yeah, the connection. Uh, we thought it makes sense because as we are backing up all kinds of devices, the data of these devices are in the version of database. Uh, so it's a great data source and we could make it available also for other systems. This is the idea here behind. So we would create then API so that other software applications who have not the possibility to get to all these different devices, therefore will be a solution that you can connect also your, um, let's say, maintenance system here to the version of data and get single set points or whole uh, data sources out of that. And then we have also, an, uh, yeah, we, we are working on a, a framework that is what I address to have uh, connection to external applications and to make the data also available. And then also our easy connect. Yeah, that's also a great project. Um, we got the industry standard with version doc and uh, we have many large customers who standardize all plants worldwide uh, on version doc. And as there is a standardization, they also tell to hardware vendors if your new device is not version of compatible, we don't want it. So it should be version of compatible. And if we now look to our easy day by day, we got connected from hardware vendors asking us, how can I do my device, my hardware device version of compatible? What do I need to do? So we now with our easy connect, go to the next step 
I mean, hand out an API, we hand out a toolkit so that hardware vendors can develop their own version of smart compare, their own version of backup. And that makes it easier for us. Yeah? And for sure, in the next years, there will also explode the possibility of smart or the availability of different smart compares. Yeah? So you will see on versionoc.info website more and more devices supported by versionoc, field devices, whatever it is. And the nice thing is the hardware vendor is developing it, so they know their device much better than we do. We, do, we have less work and a better compare available. And it will be available for you in a kind of uh, yeah, store so that you can download these smart smart compares and use it. Yeah. So with that, we expect to get even more uh, a market leader and getting standardized the market with version doc because you will have then in the future for a lot of uh, for, for much more devices connectivity than you have it today, which is already where we're already leading the market. Good, yeah, that's it. Um, here, fast view on the solution sender. So, depends on what you license. You have the network scan, you have, of course, classical version log, you have connection SAP, e plan, and so on. Factory floor plan, you have a graphical view. So, there is then, yeah, at least all summarized in one platform. And the idea behind that is at least the automation solution sender. It will be available in our easy store so that you have an easy licensing, easy way to, to, to order things. You don't need to call anymore. You can click it together and <laughs> just a credit card maybe, and you can audit. No, it's, I'm just kidding. Of course, you can still contact the sales guy and he will create for you an offer. But that's the features which are upcoming in the future. Good, so I, yeah, a little bit too long, but I kept time for questions and we will answer them. I'm not sure if there are questions in the chat because as present I can't see them but let we me... have um, Thomas we have one, one maybe you are the one to, to answer it when can we get the try license for TR portal library license we have version 8.1 installed yes okay that's great 8.1 perfect uh, yeah that's a good question thank you for that we have um, you know we have created in the past uh, standard library functions for Cmatic S7 as well as for Rockwell RS Logics. Both were well used in the market or whenever you use the standard and use it in projects, we create for you a cross reference that we store which standard in which version was used in which customer project. Yeah? So if you have their library, which you reuse all the time, then you get a nice overview which standard in which version was used in which customer version. Now we go the next. We got the next step. We developed it for Tier Portal because a lot of machine builders, uh, but also end customers, have the interest to standardize PLC code. And with this uh, library management, especially for Tier, we have it now also for Tier available. So um, the answer is you can have it. I will organize it that you get it this week for testing. It's I'm not sure, Thorsten, if it's still in beta or not. Uh, but it's available for test, of course, and you can try it out. Yeah? So yes. I will organize it for you. Okay, you see a lot of hot stuff huh? <laughs> which you can deliver. Are there further questions from the participants? If not, it looks as we explained everything quite well. <laughs> but there are still five minutes if you have if you have questions. Also, criticism is welcome. Yeah? If you think it's the wrong direction where we are going, if you want more functions in WordDoc, let us know. Of course, we do not stop the development in WordDoc. It's the main product we still will focus on. Even if we have further functions uh, in the future, we we keep uh, an eye on version doc. And what I missed maybe to say is that we always renew the technology uh, in version doc. So it's not just the features you see on the roadmap, which is coming. We also exchange old code inside version, which may be from the beginning in 2007, with newer code, which we develop now. So also the transformation from 32 to 64 bit is a good example, which we do in ongoing development. So we will have no cut in the future where we say, oh, that's old version, you, you need to upgrade now to a new generation. That will not be the case. We 
we guarantee you an investment um, security. Yeah? You will have their transformation. We already started with some compares uh, in 64-bit uh, uh, compare, like TIA, like PC7, like system platform. So typically, all the projects which are large over gigabyte sizing, therefore we make 64-bit um, uh, compares available. But also Workstock itself, database and uh, communication will then in the future 64-bit. Uh, we typically look when you install on which system we are running, if it's an old 32 or 64-bit, and then we, we decide on our own already which will be then running a 64-bit application or which still will be 32-bit. Thorsten, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> no, that's all correct. I'm wide. OK, then thank you. Very we have much. another question. You yeah. need more functions in TIA portal, for example, upload and HMIs in C-Motion. We have a good partnership with Siemens, and we are still working on um, improvements in TIA portal. Um, Siemens is still working on um, the development for better TIA openness um, interface um, so that we can um, do a software a station upload um, for HMIs in C-Motion in the future. I'm, I'm right if I say uh, over 40, 50 percent currently is uh, is TIA stuff what we have to develop and 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 improve. Yes, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> um, the biggest um, problem or challenge for us is um, the interface with TIA portal and that Siemens have to develop a lot of things in TIA portal. All technical trends, all future technologies, uh, technologies. Siemens will implement in tier portal. Um, they have only, um, I think, over 30 development teams for development in um, the interface openness worldwide. We have one team who um, develops for tier um, at OVC. And it's and it's good to know for you as customers that Thorsten Young and his team is regularly in meetings with Siemens directly talking about the future. And uh, also Siemens is, is taking into account what we tell them, what we see from our customers. This is exactly the, the, the help that we need from our customers to know what the needs are out there for, for you. Yes, I said um, in my presentation, we have uh, not only with a partner uh, meeting, we um, do our meeting with partners and together with customers. So that we uh, know uh, we can react on, on requirements directly. Okay, two minutes to go. Are there further questions from the audience? Doesn't look like that. Okay, yeah, then, um, yeah, I thank you for participating on the web meeting today. Hope we presented what you expected. Uh, also, let us know if you have uh, further expectations for future webcasts, then we are ready to prepare it and uh, to offer it to you. Thank you for your time and have a nice rest of your day. Uh, but let me also highlight, I missed it um, today afternoon. We have at three o'clock uh, the next webcast uh, with the Solarian Steel Group, who will also talk about their experience implementing WorldDoc on the steel plant, um, talking about the further rollout, uh, why they do a rollout in other plants globally, What's the reason for that and so on. So we have the possibility to listen to a customer this afternoon. And if you have not registered yourself, you can still do that. And I'm happy to uh, uh, to see you there as well. Uh, see you later. Thank you very much and have a nice rest of your day. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you, you very much.